YouTube, welcome to the channel. My name is Jason. On this channel, I'm gonna do a lot of workout videos, especially with the SF3 here from Inspire. Probably some supplement reviews, protein powder reviews. Um, I do have a food and product review channel. I just wanted to separate the videos. People on that channel watching cereal reviews don't really care too much about how to work out your triceps or biceps or things like that. Vice versa, you guys here for videos on fitness and working out probably don't wanna see what the latest item at McDonald's is. So that's why I'm separating it, having two different channels. We'll see if this one does anything. I like to work out. I work out six days a week. So I figured why not start doing videos on it and show you what I do on a daily basis on different workouts. So today being the first video, we're gonna look at triceps. So one of the attachments that comes with the SF3 is your rope attachment here. And these videos can work for any functional trainer. It doesn't have to be the Inspire SF3. Um, if your functional trainer didn't come with one of these ropes, I'll leave uh, links down in the description where you can pick these up on Amazon. You can get, you know, $25, $30 for a rope attachment. And it's a well worth investment if you don't already have one for your functional trainer. All right, so we're gonna set our cable all the way to the top, attach our rope attachment here. And for this exercise, we're working our triceps. A lot of people focus just on biceps. If you wanna have bigger arms, tricep takes up most of the arm size. So if you're not working your triceps, you're not gonna have as big of arms. And as you get older, females, whatever, you start getting those chicken wing arms. So maybe you're not looking just to build muscle. You might be looking to firm up your triceps so you don't have the chicken wings. So in this video, like I said, we're gonna go over the rope pull down and another exercise you can do with triceps on with the rope attachment. So with this rope attachment here, don't wanna stand right under it. Take a step back, get in a nice athletic position, your feet underneath your shoulders, arch your back a little bit, basically stick your butt out. That way you're not like hunched over. And also, in order to work the triceps, get your shoulders out of the way. A lot of people will be hunched up. Let me turn where you can see me a little better. They get your shoulders up here and they're working and you're doing a lot of work with your triceps and your shoulders. So let's push the shoulders to the floor, get our elbows out in front of us and almost like drive your elbows to the ground. And then we're just gonna pull down. And when you're coming down with a rope, don't come down right in front. The reason with the rope is it can spread apart. What you're doing with that rope is not so much like this. Don't bring it down and go to the sides. We're using too much of our wrist there. We're gonna bring it down and basically pull it to the side like that. And if you get your elbows out and get your elbows out in front of you, you don't even have to go past you. You're still getting a good tricep extension like that. So have your elbows out in front of you rather than have them directly to your sides. And now it's, you're having a harder time getting that extension. So we're gonna get our elbows out in front, get the shoulders down, drive your elbows into the ground. And as you come down, you can bring your elbows or your wrists together at the top here. And then you come down, you're gonna bring it to the side. And depending on your goals, so if you're looking to build muscle, obviously we're gonna go heavier. We're looking to hit maybe 10 to 15 reps, be feeling around 10. By the time we get to 15, we're, ugh, we can't even get another one going. If you're just looking to tone your triceps and you're really, I don't really wanna build a lot of muscle, go lower weight, more reps. Maybe you're pushing 20, but you're not going to failure. You're just trying to tone those triceps up. You're not really looking to build muscle. Obviously I have it on a lightweight right now just to show you. It's a great exercise. I love doing this one. It's great for those triceps, to build those triceps. And now that you have it like this, we can switch really quickly into another tricep exercise. Bring it down a little bit. Um, if you're on the SF3, when I'm doing those tricep extensions, I have it set up on 39. I'm gonna bring it down to 26, 27. Obviously it depends on your height because I want to come up over top. 
So we're just gonna spin around here. Now I have my elbows up by my ears and we're just gonna extend forward and try to get that extension as far back as far. Try to get this top part as far back as possible. You're gonna feel those triceps stretch and then just push it out. And it isn't about speed. Don't worry about like, oh, keep it controlled. Because this, you're working it both ways. Going back, there's tension, we're holding it, we're going slow. Your triceps are burning right now. And then just push it out. And again, about the same, you know, 10 to 15 reps, depending on the weight. Maybe you want to go heavier and you're going to get it to 20 to where you're maxing out and you're feeling that burn. Um, usually for me, I'll go about 15 reps, take about a two minute break, then come back in and do it again. Um, and, and I do about three sets. Now by that third set, if I can't get to say 15 and my triceps are already burning, I'm at 10, um, then you can in decrease the weight. You know, you can do a drop set. So for me, let's say the first set, I'm doing 90 to 100 on there. Pump out your 10 to 15, cut it in half maybe. Maybe three fourths. Now I'm gonna drop down to 50. All right, now I cut it down. Now these next one, that's like, oh, 50 pounds. That's easy. But after you just did 10 to 15 and your triceps are burning, maybe you can pump out another 10 at this weight. And just remember, try to keep it slow and controlled. <laughs> that's the thing, when you have that heavier weight, it's gonna pull you back when you're done. So. I live in a apartment building. I don't know how much my neighbors can hear my weights banging in here. I haven't had any complaints yet. So there is two great tricep exercises you can do with the rope. There's some we can do with biceps too. That'll be a separate video. If you have any comments, concerns, suggestions, things you'd like to see me work out on here, hey, how could you do this exercise? So I have lots of videos coming on all the different exercises you can do on here, whether it's for your biceps, your triceps, chest days, pull days, uh, shoulder days, leg days. So I'm gonna go through all these, just quick videos on one or two exercises each, so you can find the video that you need to work out the body part that you're looking for. Again, if you have any suggestions, leave it down in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.